Hi everyone. Uh, so after a long time, I decided to uh, create a YouTube video in my channel. So uh, last 10 months or so, I've uh, started to uh, use uh, Sumo Microscopic Traffic Simulator uh, for some of my research work. Uh, and then uh, I thought of uh, sharing uh, some of the knowledge uh, gathered there with you today uh, so that if you are using Sumo uh, to your work, uh, I, I, I think uh, the content shared here will be useful. So if you're not familiar with Sumo, this video might not suit for you. Uh, there are a lot of online uh, uh, materials available if you want to uh, learn Sumo. So for example, the DLR website itself has a lot of tutorials for you to go through. And uh, so if you want to start from beginning, I, I request you to uh, start from there. But if you have some idea about Sumo, I guess uh, this video will helpful for you to uh, uh, think about certain uh, aspects when creating a network and then uh, sort of uh, get things done easier, right? Uh, so let's go through the content basically. So in my view, uh, as an overview, you could say when creating a, a simulation, you need a network and you need a demand, certain set of uh, people or vehicles or anything uh, that has to be moved in the network. And then based once those two are done, uh, you can uh, pretty much uh, create uh, different scenarios and evaluate them. So uh, there might be some complex uh, other definitions for or definitions or schematics for this but uh, I thought uh, for this session uh, this uh, overall idea is useful. So I'm interested in uh, the demand creation uh, sorry the network creation part. So uh, network is the base pretty much the base for everything right. So without having a network you cannot uh, add demand to it or even you can generate scenarios out of it. So but uh, mostly as I've heard or like as I've seen uh, people can uh, make the networks like using manually right you can draw them and you can sort of use the tools in sumo like creating the edges and uh, like creating the junk sorry uh, like the nodes and edges and you can like, like combine them and you create you can create a network that is possible but the problem is uh, if you want to model real networks especially larger networks, it will take a lot of uh, time, right? Uh, therefore, uh, the auto automated methods are preferred and Sumo also support uh, certain level of, uh, they have to certain extent, they have automated the process. Uh, we'll discuss about that as well. Uh, but then even if you create a network using the methods available in Sumo, sometimes you need to do some manual edits uh, to uh, to complete the network, right? The complete to complete the network as the way you want it, right? And this also takes time. And if we can uh, make available a complete network for a certain uh, corridor or certain network, and then others can also use them and save their time, right? So this is my motivation behind making this video and behind the work that I did so far on network creation. And, and then if we can make it publicly available, right? So no one, uh, no one else has to go through the hassle that the original creator went through, but you can sim simply use that network for your work and straight away start uh, doing the simulations. That will ease uh, your work and also saves a lot of time, right? So, um, and extra part of motivation is that there's a, a GitHub uh, repository that includes a lot of networks like this and they have uh, a lot of different file format supports and you can, if you want to use it in your, for example, let's say uh, vSIM network creation or Sumo or vSUM, sometimes you can use those networks and then uh, sort of straight away use them. And often in research, these networks are used as uh, sort of benchmark networks also. So 
so though with, with these two motivations that I mentioned above uh, I also uh, wanted to create a network uh, or the or network for the gold road corridor in Colombo Sri Lanka uh, so from this point onwards I am sharing my experience uh, with you uh, or the situations I faced when creating that network so if you want to create your own network I believe this information that is shared with you uh, will be useful somehow right and uh, so basically you know that in sumo you can uh, sort of use the OSM web wizard tool and create networks right but uh, there are certain issues when you create uh, uh, your network file using the method which are listed here uh, sometimes there are I mean of course when the selection is made there are too many roads and sometimes the lane count is wrong sometimes there are a lot of unnecessary turning movements some sometimes there are unnecessary junctions you need to remove them sometimes e even in the reality uh, the bus priority trait certain bus priority treatments are made on the network but for some reason let's say the OSM OS maps has not been updated or it has not been captured well then you have to uh, create uh, those manual edits as well and also I have uh, grayed out this area this this uh, bullet but uh, for a certain extent you need to adjust the speeds of the networks first of course uh, the allowed speeds on the network in real and then also if you do this properly it will help you to create more um, more, uh, more accurate uh, root set if you are using uh, random trips uh, dot py script for your work right so a uh, network creation uh, just to uh, quickly show that you have uh, in your installation you have this OSM web wizard you open it you then uh, select the area of your choice and then uh, then you download it and you have a ready to uh, run simulation scenario but of course the demand is wrong and certain other like many issues could be there right I'm not saying every every time but there could be so you need to be mindful when uh, rather than simply downloading and running a simulation uh, you just need to be like look into the simulation okay is it actually uh, closer is it closely replicating the reality or not need to go and check and might need to do some edits right so for example in my case uh, this is the entire area that I downloaded right so uh, it's pretty much cover the entire Colombo and uh, greater Colombo area but uh, the there's only one corridor that I was inter interested in so I, I didn't really want to keep everything uh, sort of uh, uh, in the network just to run a simulation of a small one small not small but one corridor so I, I had to delete them right so of course uh, there could be some automated ways of doing this I've seen a couple of YouTube videos if uh, I found them uh, I will link to the description of this video but um, so basically what I did was pretty simple I took the network I zoomed in and I, I decided okay I don't want uh, the network beyond this point and I simply did some deletes manual deletes you can select uh, in the net edit uh, you can select it and then also delete so that you can delete in like sort of batch modes uh, and yeah so uh, perhaps there could be some recent developments uh, with the re uh, recent sumo releases with this but I'm not sure about that but of course uh, it, it's a bit uh, it takes time but of course uh, yeah so you need to uh, really think which area you need to keep and which area to remove and start working on that uh, so yeah so I had this kind of uh, on the left side uh, I've shown the entire shown the entire network that I've downloaded and then after a um, couple of days a uh, couple of deletes uh, I ended up uh, at at this uh, the corridor that I'm interested in which is the gold road corridor right so um, and then of course the first issue is uh, for example in this case uh, the in, there's a small uh, or oh, the marine drive Sri Lankans or people who live in Colombo know it has two lanes per direction but once you downloaded it I had only like one lane per direction so 
then you need to select the edge and then uh, go to the number of lanes and manually uh, edit it to two and uh, it will add a, another lane and uh, when speaking about turning movements if you like this is again uh, somewhere from yeah in the gold road there's a certain random uh, junction that i took which is how it i uh, downloaded from os maps how the net edit uh, file the original net edit sorry yeah original dot net dot xml file that i had so then in that uh, that uh, file in this random junction that i've chosen you could see that there's a left turn allowed and even if a vehicle goes on that left turn it can't it, it the, the simulation will not uh, remove that vehicle from the simulation rather it will sort of uh, like come back right and even if you see here uh, any vehicle can comes on this uh, lane can take a u turn and go back right so certain i mean of course these movements might be possible in the reality but you need to decide in your simulations what level of complexity you uh, will allow it to have right so actually i, I mean in my case i don't want i i, I want these uh, left turn movements i need i also need these uh, right turn movements but these unnecessary u turns and you know even in gold road sometimes these kind of movements like you coming from a lane and just cross the gold road and just go is, is very rare right sometimes it's there but in these small uh, by roads people usually go in uh, like if a person coming from this blue lane which is shown active sort of then he can uh, go to left not necessarily go want to go straight and not necessarily go want to do a u-turn right so you can decide it but sumo allows you to keep what what sumo gives you the flexibility to keep which uh, which movements are allowed so simply you need to uh, check them uh, before going to a later stay i mean advanced stage of your simulation you need to make sure that i have uh, the correct turning movements shown in my simulation so if not you can uh, simply i guess the hot key is c and you can see and go to this uh, edit connection mode and edit your uh, network right and then uh, sometimes you will see that uh, there are these kind of additional junctions shown in the uh, network right so of course if you go detail and see for example uh, on the thread uh, this junction shown in this middle of the edge on the right hand side is uh, if you uh, is is just sitting there doesn't do any purpose right so mostly if you do a right mouse button click on that junction select that junction on the the edit mode and then uh, right click and then you have this option to replace the junction by a geometry point so mostly it will work and sometimes it will not work and it will it, it's the no, option is not active but instead it will say uh, the reason why uh, it it's you are not allowed to do that change so one of the reasons could be this change in uh, so example the connecting edges have two different speeds allowed speeds then this operation won't allow, it won't allow to you do this operation to turn to a geometry point so in that case if you really think this junction uh, is not necessary then of course you can uh, change the uh, speeds to the correct uh, values and then do the geometry point point replacement rmb option will be activated and you can do that and uh, yeah and then uh, certain times the bus priority measures in the network that you you, uh, you have in reality might not be in the uh, the network file that you created in sumo right so case in point in my example in katubed the junction you have this uh, extra sort of priority lane for buses just to uh, cut i mean go not to sit in the traffic light in this junction but to avoid it but on the left hand side this is how i got it from uh, the open street maps version so it didn't have that so i had to manually sort of create it so the one shown in blue color is allowed only for buses right so you can do that uh, change also for edges uh, using uh, the rm right mouse button option so then you need to check your network whether you have such certain uh, like um, extra treatments for buses 
then you need to include them for example in here also for private vehicles also there's this right hand turning uh, sort of additional uh, lane is introduced but on the directly downloaded version we didn't have it so you need to be mindful about those as well so uh, and then uh, of course uh, you need to adjust speeds uh, first if it is uh, given that this road is allowed uh, I mean the maximum speed allowed in this road is uh, like say 70 kilometers per hour of uh, it's uh, then you need to convert it to meters per second and update it here so in my case uh, uh, so all the major I mean the trunk road I've uh, set it to 50 kilometers per hour and some minor roads like very minor roads if you take uh, starting from Vallavatta to Kollupita there are a lot of minor roads in Colombo Gold Road so uh, I've reduced the travel speed on that uh, that roads to 10 kilometers per hour um, first to preserve the that that separation but also when creating routes routes using uh, random trips.py uh, script then this uh, you can activate certain other uh, elements in that uh, other inputs or attributes on that script and, and then uh, you can improve your route set yeah so uh, certain so up to that point I have uh, sort of uh, did it, it, it in my work uh, but there are certain must do's that I have uh, is first to add bus stops uh, as an additional file uh, to this network and then uh, perhaps when the scenario generation state uh, you need to sort of create a, another network version which has bus love bus uh, sorry bus only lanes with the in the most leftmost uh, lane right so that is uh, that might uh, yeah so that those are the things that I have uh, planned to do but later if you want to go further then they are good to have so for future research or improvements to the network then you can of course you could see in the gold road uh, there are a lot of uh, vehicles parked right and sometimes uh, this will also sort of uh, sort of disturb the the traffic flow of the gold road corridor so then if you can model the if you can in the network file if you can have the parking lots and then you can do a study using that and sometimes you need to uh, add the pedestrian crossings and sidewalks if you want to simulate passengers you need to have the pedestrian crossings and sidewalks and there could be any other like if you want to have the charging stations right so there are a lot of options there but uh, at the current stage uh, that I interested in doing uh, for my research work uh, I can uh, I can only stop with that uh, up to this level right so if you are interested uh, in uh, sort of uh, learning this more you can uh, sort of reach to me uh, via the comment section and you can uh, see and we can if you we can discuss about this and if you want to do uh, certain further improvements based on the network that I created of course like ones that I've uh, shown here like at parking lots pedestrian crossings or sidewalks then of course you can use that network uh, and do your own implementations so there are a bit of uh, work to be done but uh, once it's done uh, I will uh, pin the, the most up to date network uh, to the description or the comment section. So uh, yeah so thank you very much I uh, just wanted to give a rough introduction to it and, and hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, we'll see you in, a, in another video. Thanks.